All right, guys, Rick from La La Farm. So next video is uh, fence line termination. That's a technical term for it. We're wrap, wrapping wire around a wooden post to keep tension on your livestock fence. Uh, this could be used goat fencing, um, cow fencing, uh, llama fencing, pig fencing, whatever you want to keep in. <laughs> High tensile fencing is a, uh, yes. But hell, if you wanted to do it with a llama, you could do it with a llama. You could do it with sheep. You could do it with whatever you wanted to keep in. Kids, anything. So, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. It's not a difficult task until you get to the top and the bottom. Because um, the wire is a little bit uh, thicker. Uh, it's just a pain in the butt because you're wrapping wire around wire. And it can be at a... Get a little bit hectic on your hands so anyway this is a a, a wire braider a wire uh, turning tool um, you can get it from uh, tractor supply uh, this is actually this happens to be red brand brand um, but this thing's like 10 or 15 bucks and it's literally just a piece of metal but it's well 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 worth the investment if you got a bunch of fence to do so I know we didn't want to buy this because it was, like I said, just a piece of metal, but it's something that we went ahead and we bought the, uh, uh, bit the bullet and just went out and got one. Um, and so let me go ahead and start cutting and I'll show you guys kind of a step-by-step -step on how to do this. All right, so first things first, what I like to do is I like to start from the middle. All right, you should start from the middle because the majority of your tension is not being held right here it's being held on the very top and very bottom wires like i had said earlier they're just thicker um and so those are what we do last like i said we always start in the middle so depending on how thick your post is it's always better to cut more this way that way you know for sure that you have enough to wrap around um and actually uh, make your wire uh, your wire ends um, long enough to wrap around one another. Alright, so we'll start. Start by doing that many. first one all right this can be a little bit of a pain in the butt getting each one of getting each one of these off just kind of I find it easy, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well, but I find it easy to go ahead and try to get it, get a hold of one end real tight and then just turn it like so. A lot of the time they just slide right off. Now we've got this completely field stripped. There's nothing on it. So now we've got this all the way stripped off, like such, like so. We're gonna go ahead and what I like to do is bring it in, try to get it as tight right there as you possibly can. All right, and then bring this down. You wanna attach this wire to itself. You don't want to attach this wire up here or down here. You might have to do it when we get a little bit further up here, but right now uh, you want to make sure that you're attaching them as tightly as you can to the to themselves. All right, then I like to go ahead and get it right up against the post, pull down until it hits right here. So be it will be exactly four inches right there. Put your wire back on there. 
take your tool and this is where it gets fun you just want to wrap now it says or others have said as long as there's about four uh, uh, three or four wraps you're good we take that entire four inches and that's what we wrap we wrap until this thing falls off and then we go on to the, the next one but when you get done this is what it should look like right there all right and you just keep on doing that all the way from the bottom or all the way from the middle out to both sides bottom and top so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll finish doing the middle and then I'll come back whenever we get to the top and bottom because it's about the same thing they're just much more difficult to turn with your handy dandy tool so we have made it to the end of the middle well I guess we've made it to the middle and uh, so we got this guy right here it's the top brand of fence yeah, this one right here that's the bottom and those are holding all the tension for the entire fence right now um, with a little bit of help from what I've already wrapped as you can see it's all the way down and so whenever we pop this or whenever we cut these the top and the bottom those come alongs are both going to release all of their tension on the fence and so what you don't want to do is you don't want to pop these and have somebody standing behind those that's not too smart so let's go ahead and cut these and i'll like i said it's the same thing as the middle wires it's just much more difficult because it's a lot lot thicker of a uh it's a lot thicker of a wire and you pop the bottom one first. These, this is pretty stiff wire. That's exactly right. So like I said, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and make sure that your dog is not standing when you cut. So, hey, monster, monster move. Over here. No, here. monster, move. Monster. Other way, yep, that way. Right. So, there you go. And then the top one. The only difference between the middle strands and this strand right here is just the thickness of it. Alright guys, so the next uh, video in the fence installation is going to be the uh, H-brace install. So you guys make sure to watch that one. Alright, thank you.